Hello folks, in this video I want to talk about how to stay confident throughout your life. I know this is one of the topics where most of the people in their life get stuck. Confidence itself is a very difficult topic and difficult thing for somebody to acquire and most importantly to stay in the state of confidence. One is the acquisition of confidence in your life and second thing is staying confident always. First thing probably uh, is going to be uh, relatively easier compared to the second one. So being a karma yogic, what I had been practicing and I, I have been practicing for the past uh, two decades, more than two, two decades as a matter of fact, uh, how I am able to handle being confident and staying confident, acquiring confidence and staying confident is what I am going to share in this uh, video. Okay. So, how to stay confident? That's the topic of this uh, podcast. I know it's too deep. Millions of people, even billions, are looking for answer to this particular topic. Having said that, it's not going to be that easy to acquire the skills or practice the skills of being confident in your life. Although it is not easy, but is it simple? It is uh, not complicated, but it is difficult. It is a difference, huge difference between being simple and being easy. Being a karma yogic, I have been practicing a lot of things and most importantly, I shared in the previous podcast under Mayanas, how to be a karma yogic and uh, how being a karma yogic you can win a lot of things in life, at least learn to deal with them and manage them. One of such thing is confidence. Self-improvement, personality development, energizing yourself, staying positive, all these things as my mentor Zig Ziglar says, people come to him and say that, you know what, these things are temporary, they don't work. And his answer was always, yeah, they are all temporary, so as taking bath. Staying fresh in your every day, you need to take bath. Of course, it's not, you are not going to be uh, staying fresh the whole day, for, you know, you may stay whole day, probably a two, but eventually you have to take bath. So, Building confidence is like taking bath. You got to do something about it on a daily basis and keeping it intact. It is going to go away. It's natural thing, you know, it's like a jar of, you know, more dirt you put into the, you know, every day we live a life where more junk gets into us. So your job is to push the junk <coughs> Your job is to push the junk downwards and bring the good stuff on the top and you got to do it on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Right? First of all, before even talking about um, confidence, we need to understand what really confidence is. Why I, uh, why I say that because there are a lot of people have a misconception about being confident. First of all, you need to understand confidence 
is not something temporary. Compre conference is all about believing in yourself, truly believing in yourself. Confidence is all about trust yourself. Do you trust yourself? Confidence is all about knowing that you will be able to achieve something, truly. Truly believing, truly trusting. That's what confidence is all about. When you have the true belief, true trust, then you need other stuff towards achieving certain things in life on a daily basis as in the form of goals or in the form of routine, then you will learn to stay focused and confident. So, confidence is about, you know, um, it comes from not you, who you are. Confidence is not about who you are. Confidence is all about who you truly believe you are. Who you truly believe you are. That means you need to do a lot of inner talks, inner work, inner engineering in order to build confidence and stay confident. I'm talking about true confidence, right? And it is not about what you own. Most of the people get uh, stupidly get stuck with the attitude of what you own is what confidence is all about, right? They, they try to build confidence from non-living things. It's just completely wrong. It's not right. I can tell many, many, many stories about people, you know, getting attached to material things. The house they own, the car they drive, the jewelry they wear, many, many, many such stories. I laugh at them and I just, what can I do? They just are working completely against who you are. They are not building their confidence based on the true value of human being, who you really are. They are building based on what you own. One of the such stories uh, I'll tell you. I don't want to name the names. Um, I stayed in one of my, one of the person overnight. I have a, those who know me, I have a, I'm a guy who doesn't attach to materials thing, right? It doesn't mean that I don't drive nice cars and oh yeah, I rent, sometimes I rent uh, nice cars and drive around. Uh, but and I, I sometimes I, you know, I, I take the things equally, right? It's quite natural for me, but I never get attached to it because I'm being a karma yogic, I don't get attached to materialistic things. That's true. Now I was staying overnight, I had to park, my, I was driving a, a old uh, Honda car and um, it just happened that way. I was driving it. I don't care. So I parked the car. This happened many, many, many years ago. Um, I parked the car in front of their house and uh, this person had uh, two BMWs. Okay. So I parked in front of their house and the person has to come and tell me can you please not park this car in front of a house? Can you do it somewhere on the side or maybe inside the garage? I asked why? The person shamelessly told me that I don't, this car, you know, 
it doesn't fit into our house and the other things you know they truly this person truly believed that uh, old car is going to other people are going to look at them and uh, you know uh, yeah, i don't know something is the people are going to look at look down at them by uh, by seeing a car uh, a old car in front of their house maybe a little bit of uh, damage i think uh, there was dent a little bit here and there it was a very old car i bought it very old i didn't care because i was temporarily you know visiting the country and then i didn't want to you know really i just bought a old car and drove drove few months and then just to, you know let, let it go but then i was uh, i was not shocked but i was knowing the person for a long time i i was uh, literally you know smiling inside this is what um people are the moment you know if, if their car is been taken away from them their uh, life is going to be shattered so they do lot of compromises in their life losing their freedom in order to hold on to these uh, materialistic things anyway that's the wrong uh, attitude to you know and wrong way of building confidence in your life material things are going to go away this is what i tell people all the time once i wrote uh, in i think in facebook um and i share it to people all the time god comes in front of the people and uh, a human ghost god comes in front of a human and then human goes and then ask for uh, money nothing happens ask for nice car nothing happens and suddenly after so many so many so many times praying so many months so many years of praying suddenly one day the person lo- lost uh, all the money and uh, you know car well you know whatever uh, you know lost everything and got so angry and went in front of the god and finally god appeared in front of him he started you know really abusing or cursing why you did let me down then the god comes in front of him and then says that hey idiot i only have control on things i created i created you you created the money and that money created car or you created car means human created it how on the earth i'm going to control things that you created i can only deal with my creations if you guys understand this you will understand how the confidence needs to should be built confidence is about inner engineering it just not it's a uh, it cannot be it's unnatural to be built from materialistic things it has to be coming from you know uh, deep within yourself it's a most important thing you need to understand with confidence is the confidence uh, and is is has lot to do with your inner conscience of course most of our life is based on our inner conscience you know uh, what you believe what you tell uh, what you conduct how you conduct yourself all these things is based on your um, inner conscious inner atma the soul that we are built of right so the uh, the beauty of inner consciousness is our inner conscience conscience is like a baby it will believe everything 
the world says everything it believes to be true it's very brittle very gullible it's very very easy to trick the inner conscious especially the outsiders it believes outsiders but the the important aspect of the inner conscious is once it learns it keeps it within itself for a quite long time you 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 really it it, it is gullible it is uh, easy to uh, cheat the uh, inner uh, conscious but it is also very 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 smart that's that you every human is a smartest person because your pure atma is a uh, you know very beautiful and it has the ability to learn and retain things now comes your uh, astral body and you who you project yourself to the outside world there's a lot of conflict between these two if you read chakra principle you could have gone through um scientific evidences are there right you will understand you know what i am talking about so our body is made of many layers the physical body the astral the emotional and then your spiritual body so there are many layers that you need to go through and the under under atma is a purest form you know kind of near purest staying inside now why i explain this much on this topic Un- plus until you understand this aspect of it and and apply in your life you don't have to be spiritual you don't have to be religious it's just not about spiritualism it's not about religiousness it's not about uh, uh, even uh, science it's just nature that's the way we are but i am explaining it uh, through the spiritual form because that's the best way to explain it right so your inner consciousness is the most important thing that you need to work in order to acquire confidence and stay confident in your life so what you should do is on a regular basis keep the conversation remember the conversation should be true not fake real conversation with your inner consciousness okay Contin- on a daily basis you need to continue to talk to your inner consciousness you cannot uh, just do it once and then think that it's going to be permanent as i told you in the beginning you need to continue to rework on the confidence on a daily basis one of the investments best investments that you could able to make is investing on yourself most of the people make the mistake in that you know so you need to invest investing on, on yourself is yourself. the best investment that's you, the best investment you should should ever you, know, you have ever yeah. made in your and that investment also should be on a daily basis i know people go on the spend a lot of their money in terms of uh, acquiring wealth and invest on building the wealth i'm not saying financial uh, uh investments are bad you yeah you need to do those things as well but first thing is you need to you know uh, invest on yourself that investment mostly in terms of building you know f- to build the confidence and the confidence comes from what the hope 
hope, having hope that tomorrow is going to be better for you, is going to make you confident. And where the hope is going to come from? The hope is going to come from trying to understand tomorrow and try to be prepared for tomorrow. Understanding tomorrow and preparing for tomorrow. That's how you, you, you build the hope. If you're trying to build the hope purely based on intuitions, purely based on hoping God is going to help you, I'm not suggesting, I'm not sounding like an atheist. I'm not suggesting that you don't go and pray to God or worship God. I suggest people to do that because it gives them the perspective in life. If not confidence, at least they will have, they'll get themselves relieved of some other power better than us who take care of us. That is fine. That gives you uh, remove the fear part of it. Hope and fear won't coexist. Okay, to get out of the fear, you have to keep the hope, and that hope can come from, you know, believing in something that is going to um, help you. The power of God is going to help you. I'm absolutely fine with that. But that alone, you know very well, that alone is not going to really make it happen. Remember the story I told you about God. Most of the creations are, are human creations. Come on. If God exists, you go and ask God to do all these things for you, God is going to tell the same thing, what I told you. Right? It's just not God's creation. It's a uh, human creation. Another thing is, if God is there and the God, God created the world, God cannot do things in justice to one person and justice to the other person, right? Cannot, you know, cannot, cannot, can't give one thing to one person and, you know, uh, at, the, at the cost of the other person. Materials are like that, right? Think about it. A material item, right? Going to one person, there is an imbalance. It's, it, was, it was not taken away from the other person, but then it was supposed to go to the another person. You, if you think deeply, you'll understand it. So, worship and believing there is a power on, uh, you know, beyond us and that is going to take care of us is okay to remove the fear, temporary fear out of your mind. But what most importantly you should do is to start investing on a daily basis to educate yourself, acquire knowledge, acquire knowledge, educate yourself. So you will start getting more and more enlightened. The more you become enlightened about a topic, then the fear goes away, confidence comes in. Fear goes away, confidence gets big. And you continue to stay ahead of it by daily basis, you know, talking to yourself that not doing fake talking. Fake talking is like a con man job. Don't tell yourself, you know, you, you are, uh, you're going to magically do things now. That's going to throw the pendulum completely on the other side. It's just not going to work. It's going to be negative. It's going to bring negative effect on your life. Just don't try to fake it. You need to really work on building the confidence based on 
the real actions, the karma. You need to do certain actions. That will build the confidence. The Yaran Andaratma I talked about, it only believes you through evidence. Unfortunately, it can it might uh, believe in the whole world because the world is showing evidence, showing evidence, showing evidence. But you, in spite of it is living in, within yourself, it won't believe you. The world may be giving fake evidence, remember it. But if you give the fake evidence, it's not going to take it. So your inner conscious needs to be told and showed that you can do things. For that, you literally have to provide evidences, acquiring knowledge, doing the research, removing the odds in your life, building the skills, not just acquiring a degree. To some extent, it, that can give, you know, I, I know people go and keep uh, um, acquiring uh, a lot of degrees or keep collecting things, um, you might have heard this from Charlie Munger, um, once you know in one of the uh, interviews he was, you know, one of the meetings he was talking about um, the, talking about collectors, you know, people have the habit of collecting things, you know, he made a joke out of, you know, people collecting cars, people collecting gold and silver and even uh, collecting mistresses, right? So, because they are collectors, they keep collecting, keep collecting, co collecting. What are they going to do with those things, right? But that this collecting of things, people try to build confidence based on this, you know, collecting things. That is not going to uh, help at all, right? You have to uh, really build the system where the education the evidence is being built into the loop, into the feedback system to yourself, right? So that your inner conscious mind can learn from it and keep reminding you about how to stay confident, right? So what I suggested, first, you know, um, you have to trust, build the trust about yourself, build a trust system about yourself. You should be able to trust yourself. Your inner conscious will trust you. That's the first thing. Before the world trusting you, first you trust. You should build a trust on yourself. You cannot fake yourself and then try to uh, uh, thinking that the world is going to trust you. No. First you have to be true to yourself. The integrity. That's where it plays. Integrity. Integrity is so important in life. It's not for other people, putting a show off to the other people. Integrity is not for show, putting a show to the other people. Integrity to show, tell to yourself, your inner conscious, that you are the same person, you have uh, the, uh, you know, you have built the right things, you, you are going to do the right, right stuff. That integrity has to be there. So inner conscious, you know, has to be given opportunity to learn through the evidences. So you build the trust system and then believe, truly believe in who you are, who you are. Keep doing things to build, keep feeding, adding one brick at a time to, you know, get the belief system that you are who you projecting who you are. That's going to give you the confidence, keep building the confidence. So what you do is you create a ecosystem where on a daily basis you have to create a scenario like a movie. You have to create the sequences, you have to create the storyline in your life. Orchestrate the storyline of your life where many characters, many situations many scenes happens in a positive way on an everyday basis. Create that. Surround yourself by those characters, real world characters. 
Surround yourself by good people. Surround yourself by confident people who have done things. Surround yourself not by fake people, not by con men. Surround yourself by good people. Surround yourself by achievers. Surround yourself by confident people. And that itself is not going to help. As I said, the characters would, you know, has to be there in the storyline of your daily life. But these, story, the, the, these stories should keep moving as a continuum. And, and you have to be the hero in the story. I know all of us make ourselves as the hero in our life. But our, 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 uh, this story, this heroism is going to be different. This heroism has to be true heroism, meaning that you cannot make fake things out of uh, your character. It's going to be disastrous if you make uh, one failure, right? Your inner conscious is going to drop you totally. You got to be very careful. That's why it is very important to build the layers of inner confidence over a period of time. So your inner conscious is not going to drop you from 30,000 feet height. Because it knows if you fall from, you, since you build the layers of confidence, yeah, it is quite common for people to fail on a daily basis or fall down. But then when you fall down, it has to be in the second layer, not to the hundredth layer. If you don't have hundred layers, then you are falling completely down. That's where the most important thing you need to understand. Confidence cannot be bought. Confidence cannot be magically coming in uh, one shot. It has to be built over a period of time and you need to keep creating the bed for you to fall down. And you need to keep, you need to be surrounded by the people who would come and help you. No man is self-made. No woman is self-made. We are all made by other people's experiences, other people's help. So you just can't discount the people around you. For that, you need to have integrity. You need to be part of the society. That's the most important thing, final thing I need to, I have to tell you. The confidence, uh, many people build the confidence based on achieving things, achieving goals in your life and achieving financial goals, um, family goals, financial goals, personal goals, um, and uh, travel goals. There are a lot of goals, right? Uh, but then, most importantly, all these goals and achieving things might sound to be giving you the confidence, but then the most important thing of all the um, uh, items that is going to help you is uh, how much value you provide to the people around you. Who are you? What you are? What is your what is the worth of you to the people around you? That confidence is the most important confidence. If you keep how many people you are going to keep as part of your goal? 100 people, 200 people. If you keep only by your, yourself as a part of, uh, you know, beneficiary of your goal, then uh, uh, first of all, it is brittle and uh, it is going to break. One, one failure, you will snap down. You will not be able to proceed. But if you keep a lot of people as a beneficiary, as a karma yogic, uh, you know, I'm, I'm with the art of karma yoga, you can practice it. Keeping always more people as the beneficiary in your goal. And the confidence that's going to give you, keep going. Even if you fall down, every time it is you know, okay to fall down. It's okay to fall down. Every day basis, you, you keep falling down. That's okay. But getting up quickly, what is going to help you is you keep keeping other people part of your game. And there may be employees or... Uh, uh, friends or uh, investors, anybody around you, that is what going to keep you going. Many times as an entrepreneur, you know, 
the life of an entrepreneur. It's very, very stressful. Many times you may think of quitting. Why entrepreneur? Even you know you work for other people or self-employed. Everybody has the same thing. You are coming very close to quitting. But then you don't quit because the beneficiary is the other person. Lo uh, many years ago, I saw a, a TV ad. Very interesting and beautiful TV ad. This guy goes to uh, his boss, the boss, uh, he does made a big mistake and then boss is shouting at him and um, then uh, literally very bad and then uh, he was about to say, uh, it's, he was about to say, I quit and go. But then uh, suddenly his uh, pregnant wife comes into his mind. And his elderly mother comes into his mind. And you know what? The guy um, makes a good smile and then says, uh, tell the boss, uh, sorry boss, I made a mistake. I'll correct it. You, you won't see this thing again. The boss literally, you know, gets shocked and then look at him and the guy walks away. I even forgot what the advertisement is all about, right? But this is something, you know, uh, stuck with me for many years and it's for good, right? So, why uh, this kind of a confidence, you know, when you have other people as a beneficiary, uh, the confidence that you have in life, even if you fall down, it will feed back to you, you did something good today. And you are not living for yourself, you are living for other causes other causes. I know you, m most people try to reduce everything for themselves and their family. Simple people are okay. Simple life is, uh, you know, we want to keep a simple life. Um, it's okay. But try to be, try to, you know, make your life a little bit bigger than just your immediate family. Okay. So, keeping your uh, more stakeholders in your life, keeping your goals uh, larger than just only material things and focusing on your inner consciousness, be true, truly, uh, in, with, be truthful and be conducting yourself with integrity in life and surrounded by situations and people every day orchestrate yourself giving a feedback mechanism to keep bringing all the good things good stuff happening in your life avoiding the bad things all going to build the conference before i end i remind you that confidence is a long-term game you cannot bypass you need to keep the layers building truly with cemented ones, strong cemented layers to be built. So the root cause of the confidence, your, your, the root will go much deeper and no matter what happens to the outside, the root will keep you intact. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for uh, watching this uh, podcast. And if you wanted to discuss, this is one of the t topics everybody wants to know, know more. Yeah, we can discuss. Uh, write to, you know, go to mayakannan.com slash inner circle. Subscribe to my uh, newsletter. Write to me, maya.kannan at mayakannan.com whenever I get time. If I create some forums, I'll let you know. So be part of my inner circle. Uh, we'll discuss more on this topic. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.